Good morning, grade 10s. Today you will be receiving information that will assist you with your course selections for the 2021-2022 school year. Teachers, I would ask that you please distribute the option advice sheet handouts and advise your online students that this presentation will be made available to them on the grade 10 LMS page as well as the school website. Grade 10s, I would ask that you please give your undivided attention as we provide you with some pertinent information for your op sheet, option sheet presentation or preparation, sorry. I will start by introducing Mrs. Gravina who will speak to you about our co-op program followed by Mr. Silvestri who will talk to you about our SHSM program. Good morning, STM. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing the Cooperative Education Program with you. Co-op is a program that you can select for your options for next year. I realize that we haven't had much of an opportunity to discuss the program with you. I want you to know that this presentation will be on the uh, LMS page for Mr. Bozzo, and we have also sent a more detailed presentation to your grade 10 teachers, and we've asked them to post that uh, in your uh, class LMS. We, of course, are available to answer any of your questions. Uh, we have three full-time co-op teachers here at STM. It's a huge, thriving program. Uh, we hope to be able to answer all of your questions and give you as much detail as we can. Uh, so please know that we are available to answer any questions prior to your course selections. Uh, we're going to begin with uh, a co-op uh, PowerPoint presentation now. Cooperative education. So the co-op program allows you to explore a career of your choice. Basically, you end up spending half the day at a work placement with the other half the day at STM. While you are at that work placement, you are earning two senior credits. You have the opportunity during that time to interact and work with a variety of different people in the workforce. These opportunities provide doors to new jobs while you are at the co-op placement, you will have uh, the chance to earn up to 220 hours at a workplace. And while there, you also discover new jobs outside of that particular career that you may have selected. To select co-op for your grade 11 year, uh, we are asking you to take note of the following items. Firstly, grade 11 is the opportune time for taking co-op. This is the uh, year that you are making choices about future courses and selections for post-secondary destinations. Also, co-op is a requirement for those choosing a specialist high skills major. Mr. Silvestri will be discussing this with you and will be available for details regarding that. A more detailed presentation, as I said earlier, about choosing co-op is available for you on your class Grade 10, your grade 10 class page as well as this abbreviated version will be uh, available on Mr. Bozzo's LMS page. Those students who are interested in apprenticeships, accelerated co-op, and the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, these are programs that are going to provide a number of potential benefits for you. To give you an idea of where some of our co-op placements take place, I've just quickly listed here for you the areas, the sectors that link to the specialist high skills major for those of the, you that are going to be taking that. Uh, but generally, all students interested in a workplace could be working in one of these areas. So if you are interested in the area of arts and culture, we have co-op students that are placed at art galleries, elementary schools architect offices, graphic arts businesses. If you are a business bound student, you may be interested in having a co-op placement in an accounting office or an administrative office. Uh, you may be interested in hairstyling, so you would be placed at a hair salon. We have retail stores, we have marketing businesses, bakeries, restaurants, real estate, computer stores, all taking our co-op students to help them explore a career and earn two credits. Construction, 
We have students on building sites, in building supply stores, in home renovation companies, cabinetry businesses. We have students working with plumbers and electricians in their businesses. Those of you that are interested in healthcare, we have placements that occur in the hospitals, physiotherapy clinics, medical clinics, dental offices, pharmacies. And lastly, students interested in transportation, you could very well get yourself a placement uh, in an auto shop or a dealership. So if you are interested in co-op, how do you go about selecting it? Essentially the same way that you're selecting all of your other courses. So you have to remember that because you are earning two credits, it is a two credit program. So when you make your course selections, you only need to select six other courses to have a full schedule of eight courses for the year. Once co-op is selected, a co-op teacher will contact you to gather more detail about what your area of interest is and the scheduling that will occur. Co-op can be scheduled in semester one or semester two. It can be a morning co-op or it can be an afternoon co-op. And co-op teachers are available in the student services office to answer any of your questions with any of the information that I've provided for you. Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Specialist High Skills major program. Uh, for some of you, this is the first time you're hearing it. For some of you, it's a bit of a review from a presentation, maybe in a class or what you've heard uh, in career studies. So it's a program that's designed to help you focus and better prepare for what you're going to be doing after high school. So again, preparing for your grade 11 courses, this is an excellent time to think about it. Um, I may be still be coming to some more classes to present, but again, it's a tight schedule before you're actually picking your courses. So there are six different sectors available for the SHSM program at STM. And again, just going to review arts and culture, business, construction, nonprofit sector, transportation, and health and wellness, which includes healthcare, fitness, and child and family services as well. In order to complete the SHSM program, you would take a group of grade 11 and 12 courses, which relate to your sector, and we call them major courses, as well as taking co-op and some certifications, which include CPR, first aid, WEMIS, there's ICE training, which is innovation, creativity, entrepreneurship, and again, there's no cost to you for the program or any of these certifications. If you're interested in taking co-op or you're interested in any of the careers that relate to our six sectors, whether you're going to college, university, apprenticeship, or the workplace, then you should consider registering by expressing your attention to me or your guidance counselor. Uh, in my path has some lists if you choose the sector you're interested in and they list some of the courses that would be considered for the bundle of credits or the majors. Uh, if you need more information, please see me. And I do have a list. It does get updated once in a while. So, but if you think that course relates to your sector, then select it, okay? And if you have questions, refer to me um, and I can give you a, a whole list of them. If you're able to complete the program requirements by the time you graduate, your diploma will include the SHSM red seal on the diploma in recognition of your accomplishments and hopefully we'll be able to acknowledge your accomplishments at the graduation as well. And if you need more information, you can talk to your guidance counselor, your subject teachers, or you can see me, Mr. S. Silvestri, in the guidance office. You can book an appointment online, the same as you do with your guidance appointments, uh, or you can email me. And our school board website also has information from the home page under Learn, then Secondary, and you'll see SHSM. It's also in the parent portal if they're interested in looking at it as well, so please share with them. Okay, so uh, make sure you plan with your future in mind, and good luck. Okay, thank you, Mr. Silvestri and Ms. Scrivina. I will now walk you through a presentation about your course selections, which will prepare you for next week's registration day. Please, again, give your undivided attention, and if you have any questions after the presentation, please book a guidance appointment with me 
through the STM Guidance Booking app found on your MySite. Enjoy the show, STM. Good morning, Grade 10s. Today, I will be walking you through your option sheet selections and the registration process for next year. Your teachers have provided you with an option advice handout for you to use when selecting your courses. This handout will provide you and your parents answers to some frequently asked questions for your course selections for grade 11. My presentation today will highlight some of those points so that you can make informed decisions and are fully prepared for registration day next Wednesday, February 24th for cohort A students and Thursday, February 25th for cohort B students. Online students must register by February 25th. Next year, the levels change from academic, applied and locally developed to university, university college or mixed, college and workplace. Open level courses will still remain the same. The fifth letter in the course code reflects this change. U is university, M for mixed, C is college, E for workplace, and O is open. Students from the academic stream would consider university or mixed level courses. Students from the applied stream would consider college level courses. And students from the locally developed stream would consider workplace level courses. Open courses are available to everyone. Please ensure you have the prerequisite when selecting your courses. When selecting your courses, you will need to access your MyPath account through www.pathtosuccess.ca. After logging into your account, you will access our school courses database by selecting School Courses and then St. Thomas More. All the courses will be listed by department, so for example, to select your required English course, select the English department, and then the appropriate Grade 11 English course, either ENG3U1, ENG3C1, or ENG3E1. Please ensure you have, or will have, the required prerequisite for the particular courses you are selecting. This can be found in the course details page, along with the course description. Grade 11 students must select eight courses. No spares are allowed. The compulsory or required courses are English, Math, and Religion. For Math specifically, you can select University, Mixed, College, or the Workplace level. Your choice will depend on several factors. One, whether you have the prerequisite. Two, what post-secondary pathway and program are you interested in? And three, and most importantly, what did your grade 10 teacher recommend for you? When deciding on your five elective choices, please consider several factors. Most importantly, do you have all of your graduation requirements? Do you have your ARC credit? Do you have your phys ed credit? Your group one, two, or three credit? If not, you will select those first. This information can be found on your credit counseling summary in your MyPath account. Secondly, what post-secondary programs are you interested in and what are the pro prerequisites to get into that program? Finally, what are you interested in? We offer a wide variety of courses to choose from. If you plan on reaching ahead and taking grade 12 courses in grade 11, Please make sure you have the prerequisite and are prepared. Full disclosure applies to all grade 11 and 12 courses, which means that all attempts with the corresponding mark will appear on your transcripts for universities and colleges to see. Students interested in the university pathway will be selecting university or mixed courses in grade 11 and 12. These would be students interested in pursuing science, business, engineering, healthcare, and various other disciplines at the university level. 
students interested in the college pathway will be selecting college and in some cases mixed level courses for grade 11 and 12. These students would be pursuing science, business, technology, healthcare, and various other disciplines at the college level. Students interested in entering the workplace after high school will be selecting workplace level courses for grade 11 and 12. These students would be advised to take co-op next year in order to gain valuable work experience and or start accumulating hours towards an apprenticeship program. Please speak to one of our co-op teachers for more information. As previously mentioned, academic level courses in grade 10 lead to university bound courses in grades 11 and 12. When planning for university, please work backwards. That is, research what programs you are interested in at the university level and what the requirements are to get into those programs. This will guide you in terms of what grade 12 courses you need to take and what grade 11 prerequisite courses are required. Please keep in mind that universities require six grade 12 university or mixed courses, which include the prerequisites for the programs you are interested in. Most programs at the university level require a minimum of 75% average in your top six grade 12 courses in order to be considered for admission. Are you there today, grade 10s? Again, as previously mentioned, Applied level courses in grade 10 lead to college bound courses in grade 11. As with university bound students, college bound students are advised to start researching college programs you are interested in and noting the requirements for admission. This will guide you in terms of your grade 12 courses and grade 11 prerequisites. Students interested in the area of technology at the college level are advised to take the mixed math in grade 11 and college and technology math in grade 12. Please note that colleges offer many collaborative programs with universities and there are also many transfer opportunities from college to university. Use the personal planning chart on the back of the handout that you received to plan your grade 11 and 12 course selections. When planning your courses, review your up-to-date IPP and career cruising information from your careers class. Work backwards. Plan your grade 12 course selections based on what is required for your post-secondary program and then plan your grade 11 courses accordingly. This will guarantee you have the necessary prerequisites for your grade 12 year. If you plan on changing pathways, it is possible, but please make sure you have the necessary prerequisites. For example, if you want to take university level courses in grade 11, but took applied level courses in grade 10, you will need to take the academic courses in grade 10 prior to taking the grade 11 university level courses. The personal planning chart provide you with the compulsory requirements in grades 11 and 12 and the graduation requirements. Please plan your grade 12 year, then your grade 11 year, taking into consideration your post-secondary pathway and program choices along with the graduation requirements. Also, please note, you must take eight courses in grade 11, no spares allowed. Mr. Silvestri and Mrs. Gravina have provided you with some information about the specialist high skills major and cooperative education programs available at St. Thomas More. Please speak to Mr. Silvestri in guidance if you are interested in learning more or signing up for one of our six specialist high skills major sectors. Please speak with one of our co-op teachers, Mrs. Gravina, Mrs. Susie, or Mrs. Stocko in guidance to learn more about your options for co-op. Please select either the two credit or four credit co-op option in your MyPath account if you are interested. Please keep in mind that co-op is a mandatory requirement of the SHSM program. The registration days our next Wednesday, February 24th for cohort A students and Thursday, February 25th 
for Cohort B students. Online students will need to register by Thursday, February the 25th. Please ensure you have the following two items on these dates. Your MyPath option sheet with your courses selected, $45 activity fee, a copy of the receipt showing that payment through School Cash Online has been made, and for our face-to-face -face students, these items will be collected on your registration date in class. For online students, these items will not be collected, but will be verified by the school as being completed before processing your course selections. Thank you for your attention throughout this presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, please come and see me or book an appointment with me to discuss any issues or concerns that you may have. Thanks STM.